Jake Ludington here at IBM Impact, and I'm here with Max Habibi of Capital BPM, and we're gonna talk about a solution from Coriel Life Sciences that he helped implement around personalized medicine uh, involving genomics. That's right. Um, so Coriel's offering is actually really unique. What they do is they'll actually take your genomics information, and within a very short period of time, I mean, minutes, not hours, they'll analyze that and they'll come back and do a recommendation for you for medication that will respond specifically to your genetics. So they might say, well, you know, you have diabetes, but you shouldn't take insulin A, you should take insulin B. However, insulin B might interact with some of the other things that you're doing, so here are some other pharmaceuticals that you should also be aware of as well, right? So the idea is that there's an ever-expanding list of pharmaceuticals that are going to um, interact with you specifically that are going to be different than the general population. And you'll be able to receive really targeted medication in a timely way. Um, and you know, they'll, they'll help you do that you know, throughout your life, which is, I think, really sort of a fantastic offering. So um, you know, uh, from the point of view of actually doing something good, I think they're doing something really fantastic for humanity. So this really, really takes the, the quantified self-concept to a, a whole new level in the healthcare. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, you have about 1.4 terabytes of data in your genome, right? If all the, all the data that constitutes who you are. And what they do is um, they take a, a reference of that and they figure out exactly what would work for you. And right now, you know, there's, there's a list of drugs, but that's ever growing. So you can see where this is going to be going, where, you know, in a couple of years, you're going to know exactly what would be the right medication for you and exactly the right balance with the other medications that you take, which, you know, is phenomenal if, if you know, you have genetic issues or um, if you just want the very best medication in the shortest amount of time or potentially, you know, the medication that your insurance company supports that aligns with, you know, what you can uh, you get on your plan. It's, it's, really, um, it's a really very, very exciting problem that they're solving. Um, what we did for them is that we built it on a backbone of BPM, um, so cloud-based BPM. Um, and we took it all the way from whiteboard to, you know, to hardware, to software, to implementation delivery within four months. So you know, we were out the door with this in four months. Um, and what we do is we actually have a system in place that uh, takes that information and builds up the genetic information, generates a PDF report that's human readable, um, takes your CLIA files and publishes that out to the, um, to the consumers, um, and also builds out uh, electronic JSON information so that the people who are actually providing the medication can do their own analysis on it, right? So for example, there is, um, um, let's say that you receive, you're a company that receives this medical information and you want to make sure that the drugs that have been approved are in your schedule or you want to check for cross-references and how these drugs interact with each other. You have the, the programmatic information to actually do that, right? So you can actually have your own systems feed off of this information in addition to having the human output readable information. So if I could cut you off for just a second uh, and ask, why, why was BPM the right solution for developing this? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, and mostly the reason is that uh, Scott McGill, who is the CEO, did not want to be in the technology business. He wanted to be in the genomics business. So he wanted a very flexible, highly visible um, infrastructure that could help deliver the solutions for him, right? And that he could depend on it, and he knew that it could integrate with whatever would come down the pipe, um, and that it would give him, you know, the, the KPIs and the flexibility for what make, what technology changes may come. So he may want to put a rules engine in there in the future, or he may want to put an ESP in there. He may want to make it mobile, right? He doesn't know what's coming, but he wanted maximum flexibility, and he actually wanted maximum delivery speed. And that's where BPM comes in the picture, right? It's a very strong enabler. And, uh, and you know, Scott knew that from his own experience in the IT world, which is why he selected IBM BPM. Okay, and then this is, a, this is kind of a unique or, or at least unique so far implementation of BPM because it, you said it's cloud-based. That's right. Um, so IBM came out with the software as a service cloud offering um, right around, I think, April, um, I, I don't know, maybe February, March. Um, and it just fit perfectly into, uh, into Coriel's plans. So we advised them to purchase that. Uh, we're also a reseller, so we helped them with the sale. Um, 
so that they could actually take this entire infrastructure, the entire solution, put it on the IBM cloud, and because IBM takes care of every aspect of that, they take care of patches, network, security, hardware, software, everything, they, Scott doesn't have to worry about it, right? He knows IBM's on the case, you know, it's kind of like calling the wolf in Pulp Fiction, right? He knows the wolf is on it, he doesn't have to worry about that, he can concentrate on genomics. Um, and you know that that actually uh, became a really powerful thing for him, and it gave him a lot of flexibility. So, for example, we're actually integrating this with Cloudant, right? We're using CouchDB behind the behind the covers to uh, track some of this information, which means that we can use some of the cutting edge techniques that places like um, uh, Twitter and Facebook are using for large data analysis. And you can imagine, you know, how valuable that is to have that large trending analysis of large populations and how they're interacting with pharmaceuticals and how you can service that community better. Uh, so it, it's it's a really sort of a fantastic thing. And and IBM did exactly what IBM is supposed to do, right? They said, let us handle the technology problems, right? You go and do your business. And I, I think that's really fantastic. I, I think it's a huge model for anyone to follow.